archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. Hello and welcome to a roundtable discussion on broadcasting legislation. Before we go any further, I should make it clear that though you may have read in the newspapers about the broadcasting bill, there is in fact no such animal. There is, as of now, no broadcasting bill. What we do have instead is a draft note submitted by the INB ministry to the government which suggests various aspects of the broadcasting industry for legislation. It makes proposals for a broadcasting authority. It makes proposals for regulation of cable TV, for licensing of direct to home. It puts restrictions on cross media holdings and various other things. As of now, however, I must emphasize this is not a bill. These are merely proposals. The INB ministry has said that it wants a national debate on the issue. The minister has said that he is not particularly committed to any one draft. This program on Doordarshan is part, I think, of the INB ministry's commitment to that debate. It is the first in what we hope will be a series of discussions on the broadcasting bill. We will get people who are involved in broadcasting, people who served in government, people who have experience of these things, and we'll ask them their views. At the end of this debate, we hope some kind of legislation will emerge. Today, we have with us in the studio Ryan Karanjiwala, the well-known lawyer who is a consultant to several media companies, including, of course, Star TV. Also with us in the studio, Malvika Singh, associate publisher of the Business India Group and chairperson of the TVI Network. We're very fortunate to have with us in the studio Rangarajan Kumara Mangalam, formerly minister, so let me get this right, electronic, law, space, <coughs> science and technology, various areas concerned with broadcasting. And of course, we have in the studio somebody making an, yet another appearance on this program, Mr. P. Upendra, MP, former minister for information and broadcasting. Ryan, let me start with you. Before we go any further, can you, in sort of very brief, potted fashion, give our viewers an idea of what the debate is about? <coughs> the debate is as regards what the government intends to do insofar as the broadcasting law of India is concerned. Mm. And from what we have been able to break out from what we've read from the press and what various responses have come forward, the government intends in essence, though it, it will cover a wide spectrum, it intends in essence four principal things. First, it intends to constitute a broadcast authority. And the composition of the broadcast authority as it is before us at this moment seems to indicate that since four of the secre four secretaries of the government of India will be on it, the broadcast authority as constituted will really be, if not directly under the control of the government, at least easily influenceable by the government. The second thing that it tends to do is to give the, this broadcast authority wide powers mm -hmm. of an extremely generic nature. The broadcast authority will be given power to license a channel and channel operators and all service providers. The terms of reference for this licensing are the widest possible. For example, it's possible for the broadcast authority to issue a license in order to promote effective competition, whatever that means. It's possible for the broadcasting authority to refuse to give someone a license on the ground that his program is likely to be of poor quality, the service that he provides. Even after a license is issued, this broadcast authority will have power to regulate at every stage how this service provider acts and <coughs> conforms to the existing norms. For example, they have power to shut off a service provider on the ground that the representation of what was in the news was not impartial, something which the government itself will decide, the government of the day has the power to decide, well, in our view, this was not impartial as far as public policy is concerned or as far as public debate is concerned. So this is one broad aspect of what this bill will do. In essence, it will give government wide powers of control to censor and to license all service providers. The second thing that it intends to do from what we can make out to the moment is to take the cable industry which is at the moment a cable industry we're having about a hundred thousand independent operators and channel them into various blocks and from what we can understand of government's intent they seem to suggest that they will have only two cable operators per area. If that is so, then in essence... When you say area, they'll divide India into <coughs> various territories. <coughs> into various zones. Various zones and which is not at the moment clearly demarcated, okay. but in essence what it will no, come... No, they said contiguous to telecom districts. Contiguous to telecom okay. districts. So, in essence... But what it's the same principle as telecom then. Yes. yes. In course. essence, what will happen, perhaps, 
is that where several cable operators are operating today in the field, only one or two will operate per area. So, what is really a cottage industry will become a monopoly industry. The next important thing that it seeks to impose perhaps for the first time in India is cross media restrictions, which is in essence it will say this, that if you are a newspaper, if you are already the owner of a newspaper, then you cannot have more than 20 percent in any of the services that are sought to be provided. If you are a cable operator, then you cannot be a channel operator. If you are a channel operator, then you cannot go into DTH and so on. So, this uh, is yeah, yeah, it's, it's slightly curious, is not it? Because magazines are exempt. In that business India, no, no in, in the legislation that I have seen, the draft, there is nothing about people who own magazines. No, magazine. newspaper we, magazines can I just, come under the newspaper No, I think it is necessary for us to look at another point of yeah. view. See, we are coming to a stage where technology has come of age to a multimedia group. Mm. That's right. Therefore, I was just telling Ryan outside quite in an, with amusement that what would government of India do? Suppose Star TV packets a whole movie mm. and sends it down by DTH on a data line. Here comes is the telecom regulatory authority going to look into it or is the broadcasting regulatory but authority here, Ranga, going to you will have to explain that carefully. Is that a broadcast or is that a data transfer? Yeah, but Ranga, there are technological yeah. questions which have not even been addressed. addressed. But to go back to cross ownership hmm. for a minute, I think it is important also to raise the issue in our discussion today that are you trying to say that people who are professionally in the business of disseminating information and entertainment for that matter should only isolate their delivery systems to print or satellite or cable or DTH. This is a crazy kind of situation Absolutely. because from print it is logical that you to move to, to TV. Areas. From TV it is logical that you move to DTA. What what I I don't it's like telling. Can I, I, I take your That's why I give you multimedia. Now can the I time is gone. Can I give you the contrary yes. One proposal, one, one, one advantage of this proposal would be that the same people do not control everything. No, but let so me say What you are then going to end up is getting monopolies no, where the same people control. Monopolies. No, is no, not monopoly. I'm sorry. That's a definition. Can I, okay, 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 can can I, can I just, okay. It's uh, an open can I just restrict right. you for a moment, okay. if you do not mind in the scope. Okay. When I have said multimedia, let us take print media. All you right. get Hindustan Times or Times of India on the internet. Now, let us assume that they are able to put it in video form, which is sought today already technologically. Yes. And you can receive it on internet in video form. Now, is that going into another media method of presentation or not? But I get a full packet, the newspaper no, give can come in a video form to me as news. Mr. Open. No, I will give the background of this. Mm -hmm. You see, Mr. Karanjawala pointed out some features of the proposal bill. As you said, there is no bill so far. These are all the thought, these, are, these are all intentions of the government. Proposals and we have some broad proposals from them and we have gone through them also. Uh, the bill has to be streamlined because so far there is no clear thinking on the part of the government. That is one thing. Second thing is so we appear to be confusing controls with regulation. Even those people who are in this business, they want some kind of orderliness in That's this. Right. Otherwise, this will be a chaotic situation, so many companies coming up, so many foreign satellites working and all that. There should be some uh, law relating to that. There is no dispute about that. And as regards the other uh, points raised, for example, this uh, cross media restriction, the original intention was that there should not be a monopoly mm -hmm. by any big newspaper group, both in television side and the uh, print media side. But there also it is subject to discussion whether we cut, uh, it can be circumvented also. Suppose if say newspaper owner uh, uh, you uh, put some other family member as in charge of the That's television right, company, no, 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 nobody can stop it. But there is an objection to that. Why should there be a restriction on this cross media restriction? That is a point still under debate. Second thing is there cannot be a censorship in, in this, except the regulation that uh, uh, in certain emergencies they will be restrained from broadcasting or telecasting certain things which are in the national interest, in war situations, in case of communal rights. These are all uh, contingencies where some kind of a control has. That Otherwise, that nobody can control this. There is a difference between censorship and review. It is okay surely to have a regulatory body that you can complain to Correct. after program yes. opinion. Yes. yes. Like exactly. press council. Yes. 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 But may I just no, no, one minute, I will tell you that in this bill there is a provision for a complaints mm -hmm. authority. Which, which is sorely lacking. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, uh, it will take into account various complaints 
and then give their uh, judgment and that will be broadcast or telecast by the companies themselves. Therefore, there is this enough safeguard in that, uh, maybe uh, perhaps I am not defending the government, uh, but uh, having worked as a minister, I know a certain kind of uh, contingencies have to be provided for, that is the yeah. only thing and nobody can control no, the way, the, the, way, the, 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 way the, the way the channels are functioning, nobody can control uh, on this, the content of the on, programs. On, on, on this can I just say two yeah. things, mm -hmm. that essentially when you, what is the worry of the government? The worry of the government seems to be to say that we do not want a cultural invasion. Now, the answer to that is twofold. The answer to that is for that what you really want to do is to seek to say that the content of what is downloaded <coughs> will be within certain parameters. Now that as far as the cable industry is concerned is already there in India. There is today a cable act. The cable act provides for a program code. The program code specifies that things will come in a particular format. Not formatted but you will within talk of this limitations. within certain limitations and so on. Nobody objects to that kind of regulation in so far as other programs are concerned, channels are concerned and so on. What is objected to fundamentally is first beyond content control, what you really want to do is to effectively decide who are the people who will be allowed to provide the service, who are the people who will not be allowed to provide the service and but you right, want… Tell us a little bit about that because one key component of this bill is licensing, right? Well, yes. Channels have to yes. be licensed. What the key that? Comp it, it means this, the broadcast authority first decides. Per First of all, the services are broken up into different parts. Right. There is a cable service that is known as one service. Satellite service under two different heads is known as two different services. DTH which is called direct to home which is a different delivery system is known as another service. <coughs> and terrestrial. <coughs> terrestrial is known as another service and so on. Now essentially… And you can go on multiplying it by… And it will go on multiplying technology technology will change. Will Yeah, it changes all the time. But on the anvil, this is what it seems to be contemplated. Now what this bill seems to do or what the intention seems to be is that the broadcast authority will decide. In so far as cable is concerned, there will be only so many service providers. In so far as channel operators are concerned, okay, there will be so many. But they will be given the right to provide these channel services provided they adhere to the following specifications. Now, let's take a specific example. Mala runs the TVI network, right. which is on the air at the moment. Yes. If this legislation comes about, what would she have to do? Hers is a free to air channel. Right. Right. The first thing she will have to do is to apply for a license. No, no, I okay. think we should change it. She, they, she has uh, gone seriously about her DTH move as to what yeah, I have we, we move on to But at the no, existing no, moment, like the let's let's any it. serious player in television will go onto a DTH yes, platform yes, yes. because technology well, well, we'll get, has we'll taken get on to over from later. regulations. Okay, yeah. Hang on. Simple. But let's right. assume at the let's, moment let's that she's, this. she's let's a free to air channel to air. operator. So what does she do? She will have to apply to the broadcast authority and say, I want a license to operate my channel. Okay. Right. The broadcast authority may issue her the license, in which case then three years later down the road, this is how it will affect, uh -huh. three years later down the road she says, well we are doing well in channel broadcasting, now we think we should also go into cable because there is synergy between cable and channel operations. So she comes I'm forward. I am already says, in it. So she, right, she's already in, she comes forward and says, yes, or if she's already else. in it then she comes forward and says, look I want a cable <laughs> operation and I want a channel and they will say, sorry, you choose under this intent as at the you moment, choose between they will the say two. you choose one of the two. 20 percent. No, no, no. Right. This, is a, this is a complete, this is a ban. This is, this is Ran, let, me, or. let me take you back a few steps. Theoretically, it is conceivable or it is possible yeah. that the broadcast authority can refuse their license. Yes. Yes, of course. And of then course. what happens to her? Then yeah. I go, I, I, I start down. making, I start you selling go peanuts. Program. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you. Okay. Okay. Does that strike you? She strength? goes no, back see, to, the, yeah. the, there are some qualifications prescribed. Which, that, which are what? That is, uh, so be international, then uh, should not be bankrupt, should not no, no. be a criminal. Apart from that, all no, sorts no, of no, things no, no. put as, as you no, say. No, 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 those are, those are yeah. qualifications, those yeah. are hurdles of the initial nature. Yeah. But beyond that, the broadcast authority has power to decide. This is the most pernicious aspect. Between A and B. Between A and B on the ground that, for example, they say, you have the power to, the broadcast authority has the power to decide how best to promote competition, which means you can oh. say one of two things. You can say, look, uh, all the other four channel operators are from Western India. So I have a friend in Northern India, I will give it to him because it will promote competition. Equally, if you want to deny the license to the person in Northern India, you turn around and say, no, I won't give it to him because the greater experience is from Western India, that's where the better quality is, so I will give it to so the discretion person. leaves room for abuse is what you are saying. The Correct. No, the Absolutely. amount of transparency no, is required. I will tell you why. The, but, the, yeah. uh, the rational for that. Before we go any further, I think hmm. I should tell viewers that the Congress party which supports this government has appointed a committee of former information and broadcasting ministers which is looking at the legislation and Mr. Upendra is part of that committee. They have met once, is that yeah, correct? Yeah. And so far you have come to no conclusions but you have heard representations. 
Is that well, clear? Yeah, with some people are represented to us. We had a discussion with them, and we are going to continue that discussion. What is your thinking? Supposing you had been minister, no, no, would I, you have gone ahead with the bill like this? So one thing. See, no, I suggest a number of changes, right. and we are, going, we are going to suggest a number of changes. changes. See, these hurdles in the case of uh, fair licensing have to be removed. But licensing has to be there. In every country, there is a system of licensing. In so America, you, you believe in that every satellite channel should be licensed? Yeah, it, it has to license. Right. And, Would second, you and, and linked with that is the uplinking facility. Okay. And now the uh, Indian companies, as well as foreign companies, want uplinking facilities from India, Indian soil. And either on the foreign uh, satellites or Indian satellites. So now what will happen? Suppose if today you don't have that uplinking facility here, they are uh, uh, beaming programs from Hong Kong and the Philippines, Sri Lanka and uh, Singapore and all that. At any rate, the programs are coming. But by giving them, by That's bringing right. them into the purview of the law, you can uh, make oh, them yes. follow the guidelines which you are going to prescribe. And definitely, okay. by, uh, so out of the fear of losing the license, oh, they will no, behave no, well. So far, so good. Hmm. When you say that the foreign channel should come here and get licenses, would you give licenses to all the existing ones? Or would you start introducing sort of nationalist clauses saying 40 percent foreign no, ownership, 26 percent foreign ownership? The bill says 49 no, percent, uh, the maximum of foreign equity can be, should be only 49 percent. Is that right? Why? According to you, is that a good thing? I think so. You it's think it's a good thing? thing. Why? And you are an Indian, 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 Indian and, player. And even those who represented, uh, uh, they, the thought committee, they, they want this kind of a… Okay. Mala, you are because Indian in no, no country, entirely foreign uh, companies were allowed to uh, telecast or broadcast. There is no country in the world where foreign companies… Usually foreign companies, I, yes. I, I think you, you check up on that. Right. No, no, I can tell you I think that the, I let law, let the law in the United States has been amended to allow a situation. Originally, United States had a restriction where 20 percent ownership alone was allowed. Today, they are allowing 100 percent ownership in all telecom, communication, information but, technology. But they put restrictions. They, they are situations. from the European Union com uh, no, countries. No. Then, uh, no, the, no, the, no, then, no, then no, suppose no, if they violate the, the code, what, what should different. be done? I all think, these, all I these think, are I think you've got to understand are the realism of technology. Are you not confusing the restrictions that every country has for free terrestrial broadcasting with restrictions of satellite broadcasting? Yeah. CNN yeah. is seen yeah. in every country in the world. Yes. Every country in the world doesn't insist that their CNN is 20 percent foreign owned. Uh, the, uh, there's a difference surely between uh, we to the answer, answer the question no, you haven't, haven't yet asked. Yeah, tried okay, to regulate okay, and right. failed. Answer the question you want to answer. Yeah. No, that you wanted to ask. Uh, right. um, I think that at the end of the day, this is a fundamental issue. I don't think it is for any government mm. to tell me how much equity I should sell down or not sell down. If I feel that I can control with 30% equity, that's my choice. We are in a free market. The market forces should determine this. An individual company should decide how much they want to sell down. So, according to you, 100% foreign ownership is okay? I don't care. That's I'm okay. ready to compete you with anybody in the market. market. No, yeah, but there's a small, small rider. Is that okay? There. Yes, there's a small what rider. The rider. There's a small rider. We say that in matters of high technology, mm. we are agreeing to 100% equity. Mm. Now, when you come to information technology dissemination, mm. whether you call it in terms of broadcast, Absolutely video, right. audio, data, data yeah. whatever you mm. want, is in the very state of art high technology Absolutely. level. How can you say Contradict no hundred percent there? Why is it that for a hard disk of a manufacturing a chip, you say hundred percent is allowed, but when it comes to the real state of art of the same technology, you're going to refuse. You see, you are mixing yourself up. Let me ask the fellow congressman to respond because you you don't agree with him, do you? <laughs> No, because it's a point of no, an ongoing debate. debate. I mean, no one has yes. why, why don't you no, formulate it? Why don't because nobody could uh, finally say anything. Yes, what will be the debate. shape of the bill no, or what? Left to yourself, you would restrict foreign ownership. But he hasn't put there it should the be other some restriction. He has not had mine yet. Some restriction. Would you restrict cross media holding? No, cross media. I said it's open. You see, we are cross still media holding debate really because I don't think it is necessary to put the such a restriction. Is it necessary for every cable, every satellite channel that is viewed in India? According to this bill, will have to uplink from India. Is that correct? No, some they have to take a license. Some those people who are beaming from yeah. outside also have to take a license. But uh, they don't have so to uplink from India. Not necessarily. No, if they want, they can. They can apply. They are using okay. a word called landing rights. Yeah. What is that? Right. Which means basically, for somebody to receive your signal, and for you to legally yeah you to show it here down to him, yeah. you must have the rights to yes. land the yes. signal. Now, this is a concept which is anarchic for the simple reason that when Star TV transmits from its satellite or broadcast, whichever term you want to use, 
he does not intend it for a particular area. Hmm. It is impossible today with the satellite to sitting there a footprint. to yeah. change the footprint. It's a searchlight, not a spotlight. Right. And yeah. Ranga, no, no, uh, one but one can you tell Ranga, 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 we've heard. Ranga so here explains hang on, hang on, the difference, therefore, from free to air and C band, KU band, and why they're worried about the contained signal of, of, of KU band. I think you need to explain yeah. that. Yeah. Ranga, let's start something else. Uh. You've heard Mr. Upendra's views. You're a congressman, you've been law minister, you've clearly got experience of information technology. Okay. If you were doing this bill, what would you do? Well, the first thing I do about this bill is to realize that technology is moving at a very fast pace. Now, your bill and your broadcasting authority must be and must work in tandem with the telecom authority. The moment you split these two, you're going to run into serious trouble. Okay. Hmm. Because I think the multimedia situation brings in where telecom and broadcast is going to overlap at a very fast rate. So far, so good. That's okay. one. Would you Second, have licensing? I would have regulation, whatever term licensing. you use. Licensing? Would every uh, channel have to be licensed? Depends on what you license, mean by the, the word license parameters of the license. interpreted in various ways. Yes. Mm. So, so I'm not going, regulation. You must have regulation <coughs> in order to ensure that there is a proper, smooth, efficient delivery of the system Correct. to the user. Would For you example, have a restriction on foreign equity? On foreign equity, I believe you cannot morally have a restriction because you say in matters of high technology, you are going to allow foreign so equity 100%. So, you wouldn't. So, I would there's not. two things okay. I think we should Because otherwise, okay. otherwise, you would block technology. Uh, I, I take it. Uh, so, one more Wait, point. Just one quickly, Ryan. <coughs> quickly, because we're running out of time. What do you want to say? No, two things I think we should discuss further. One is what is DTH and why is so much being made about it. We'll do a separate program on DTH. Right. And okay. the second thing is yeah. on cross media restrictions. That has already been once struck down by the court. By the court. When in Bennett Coleman's case, mm -hmm. Times of India wanted to expand its undertaking. They wanted to go into Lucknow. They said, no, the MRTP regulations don't allow you to do so. Mm -hmm. You have to take permission. The court struck it down and they said, look, freedom of information, everyone has a right to give his own viewpoint. It doesn't matter whether he owns five newspapers or two. Because freedom of information is for every citizen. Everyone has a yeah. right. Citizens have a right but to be uh, So your point is it, it may and not be. And my last point, okay. before I run out of time, is this. Before we all run out of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, it's simply this. On, on cross-media restriction. Mm. This is the beginning of the thin edge of the wedge. If you allow cross-media restrictions and restrictions here today, tomorrow the government will turn around and say, if you own a Gujarati newspaper, you can't own a Marathi newspaper. If you own an English newspaper, exactly. you can't own a Hindi newspaper. It's so you're crazy. saying freedom of information means free mm. entry into every sector. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Mr. Now, now, one point which uh, Rajanji mentioned about this cable operators difficult, they are genuine. Okay. Because today yes. thousands of them are in operation are in small mm. towns That's everywhere. True. And if you start auctioning on the base of the zones, the mm. big fish will eat away all the small fish. And no, then you will be out of business. That means you are interested in something more Therefore, than… Therefore, I feel their difficulties are genuine and uh, they, have to, they have to be taken into consideration while framing the bill. Okay. I don't uh, find any reason why uh, big uh, companies should come mm. into Can this. Can I just sum up by saying one thing? This Look. bill is going to decide how India receives information for the next decade. I don't it's think we should we should stop calling it a bill here on. We should yeah. say we want Proposal. a regulatory authority that like a traffic light on a street controls the traffic from moving, killing people on the street. You it need is, an authority. It is not only it's receiving not a bill. information. Hang we on. don't it need one matter, government to no, tell no, us. Hang on, hang it's a matter let of me summarize total area of information. Let me summarize to the extent that we have a consensus. Yeah. We have a consensus, the present situation we require a requires some kind of regulation, we agree. Yes. We agree that we need some kind of broadcasting authority, yes. but we don't want it to be government controlled or largely dominated by the government. So far, We so don't good. even want to, it to be given the kind of powers, any independent we'll, authority. We'll, we'll take, we'll any independent. The kind no, of it should be really independent. That the regulatory authority should, should be not really be telling, looking at your program content and all that. No. It should be a complaint redressal yes. mechanism. Yes. That's That's right. It should not be a safety net. It also should be an ensures coordinated functioning of the various broadcasts. Point three, you can no longer look at television in isolation. The point you keep making, we are in a multimedia world, to start having cross media and all that is idiotic and Absolutely. is regressive. Correct. That's your point? Yes. yes. And finally, remember that all of this is not just about technology, it's about information. Information and democracy is a basic right. Don't tinker with it because that's the thin end. Yeah, yeah. So and far, you need so a good. national debate. You would agree this. with all of that? Yes, all right. Because still we are discussing. I can't yes, say. No, 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 I, say no, no, I can't, no, no, I can't commit on behalf of my party. No, 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 <laughs> but let, let us uh, so, okay. basically so let, so let, let, let me sum up because we are completely mm. out of time in this. <laughs> 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 okay. 
<laughs> but in essence, what we are saying is, yes, we need a broadcasting bill. Yes, no. we need regulation. Whether you want to call it regulation, you want to call it a bill, no. ultimately you're talking about the same thing. The problem is don't use the regulation in a way that works against technology no. and don't use the regulation in a way that's unconstitutional and that goes against the principle of freedom of information.